Welcome back. Well, from uh, my delivery of China today, I uh, also got this little guy right here. And I thought I would talk about this. Um, this is a, basically just a temperature sensor. Um, it's got a nice little um, sensor here on the end and a fairly decent sized cord here uh, that, uh, you know, you stick in water, you could put, I don't know, just anywhere. Uh, I actually wanted to use these uh, to uh, monitor the air temperature in my 3D printers. Um, but the only issue with this is, yes, I live in the United States. And yes, I like things to be Fahrenheit. I do not care about Celsius. Um, but when I ordered this thing, uh, it did give me ratings in Fahrenheit as well as Celsius. But unfortunately, there are, there's no switches or anything on here uh, to select to Fahrenheit. And I mean, this thing was only like 41 cents, so I can't really complain too much. But I uh, thought I would do a video and show you guys how to take one of these. And if you get one and you're like, oh crap, this is Celsius, what am I going to do? And you can't find one with Fahrenheit. I want to show you how to, uh, to fix this and make this Fahrenheit. Um, it's pretty neat. Let's see how we do this. Well, first of all, we have to take this thing apart. Um, the uh, You have to take the batteries out and take the case apart. Um, just be careful, these are not uh, the highest quality. Uh, obviously, for you know under a buck, what do you expect? Um, and by the way, uh, this, was, this was like 41 cents with free shipping from China. I, I, I seriously don't know how they could do it. I mean, uh, we wonder where all the jobs have gone and uh, how we're going to compete. Well, how do you compete with that? I mean, seriously, how can you compete with that? In any case, um, there's uh, these little tabs and basically just go in there and pop them loose. go pop it apart just a little circuit 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 board now there's a little strip down through here and this is for the L LCD best thing to do is not touch it just leave it alone set it to the side because really what we want is right here um, in a second I'll go to the microscope and I'll show you the the terminals that we need to be, need to solder and uh, then we'll do that and see if it worked okay here we are at the microscope now you'll notice that there's a black blob on the board right about there. Um, that's basically a chip on board with some, yeah, some crap put on top of it. But there's three terminals. Uh, one's F, then blank, and they're right below the pins for the LCD, uh, right up there. And uh, one of them's marked uh, 2S. And then right below that, you've got some capac. Well, actually, yeah, those are capacitors. Um, and very very small components so you're gonna to have to be very careful uh, soldering those points and they're not easy they're not hard to jump uh, that but you just have to make sure you don't tear up the contacts now what we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna to want to bridge these those pads so you want to fire up your soldering iron and what you're gonna do is very carefully you're gonna to try to bridge those three together and that should take it and convert it so that it can run and show Fahrenheit. Now, if you wanted to uh, do it to where you wanted to have uh, to be able to select between Celsius and Fahrenheit, now there's not a whole lot of room on here, but um, I guess you could hook up some wires and build a jumper, maybe an external switch or something of that nature. Um, but eh, I don't really care about that, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to first put a little solder on these pads. Jumped, jumped across. 
done with this, I will take it over to the microscope and show you what it looks like jumped out. There we go. Off to the microscope. As you can see, we've kind of uh, we've got those bridged pretty good. Um, they're not totally bridged across, but you have to be very careful not to put too much heat into that area. As you can see, nothing's burned up. Uh, you got some pretty good flux around there, and that's pretty much what you want to see. Now, let's put this thing back together and see if it works. So let me slip this back in here. So you just have to be very careful when putting this back on that strip. Um, just so the LCD actually works when you're done. And if you don't do like me and get the wire in the wrong spot. normally edit this stuff out but I think I'll leave it in so that you know not to make the same mistake I just did. Now, have it in Fahrenheit. How about them apples? Well, till next time, take care.